Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Today, we are going to be checking out Silence of the Lambs from 1991. This is another one of those movies that I have avoided forever. I mean, I've heard it's amazing and everyone loves it and it's very, very famous, but I just never wanted to watch it. I think it's about like a serial killer. As a kid, we did have this movie in my house on VHS and I think my dad really liked it, but I was always like, no, no, no. I couldn't even look at the cover as a kid, you know, it has that like, um, like moth on the face. And I was just like, ah, what is this? A murder movie with bugs in it? Like, no. No, 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 thank you. I never need to watch that. So anyways, it's time. It's time that I watch The Silence of the Lambs. If any of you guys are interested in getting early access to these YouTube videos, I do put these up usually about a week early over on my Patreon. I also do polls to decide what I watch. I do the full length watch alongs and I also watch some exclusive TV shows over there. I'm doing The Mandalorian right now and I finished True Detective season one already. So if you wanna check that out, all the info is down below and if not, no no worries at all. You guys know I love hanging out with you here on YouTube, chatting in the comments, and it is just super helpful for me and the channel if you could give a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay guys, let's get right into it. Here we go. The Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> okay. I don't know how murdery and gory this is gonna be like with a killer and stuff i don't know is this jody sex young yeah 90s this is a creepy jog with the fog girl i hope you have pepper spray Crawford wants to see you in his office. Oh, maybe she hit the FBI. Okay. Music by Howard Shore. Clarice. Hey. I have heard, like, Clarice. Oh, look at all these, like, giant men. Oh my god, she's so small. I feel that. I'm so tiny, usually. I'm, like, nervous already. <sighs> Bill Skins Fifth. Instructors tell me you're doing well. Top quarter of your class. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody. Could be a real help in unsolved cases. You spook mm -hmm. easily, Starling? Dude, I spook easily. The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. Hannibal the cannibal. To to I have to be able to say we tried. Just gonna go visit him. I've heard of Hannibal Lecter. Ugh. Some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? I wish there were. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. You tell him nothing personal, Starling. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Never forget what he is. Oh, he's a monster. Pure psychopath. Oh, From God. a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. I don't like this guy. He seems like kind of a douche. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. This That's not really appropriate, man. If you have the right guide. My instructions are to... Talk to Dr. Lecter and report back this afternoon. He's much too sophisticated for the standard tests. Thinks I'm his nemesis. Uh, I don't think she likes him much either. Oh, are you ever his taste? Ew. So to speak. Do not touch the glass. Do not approach the glass. No pencils or pens. No staples or paper clips. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. This guy sounds insanely dangerous. He complained of chest pains. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. The doctors managed to reset her jaw. Please don't show it. Please don't show it. His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. Well, maybe we'll have more luck if I go in by myself. Ugh. Now, I, I can tell that she's very smart, but like, is he gonna get into her head? He sounds like he's super smart and they're all pretty afraid of him. Pass the others. The last cell you keep to the right. This is gonna be kind of fascinating though. your credentials don't go near the glass don't go near closer, the glass please. closer don't go near the glass don't go near the glass that expires in one week i'm still in training at the academy training to me i'm here to learn from you she's so cool she's not even sweating it what did Miggs say to you in the next cell i can smell your you use <sighs> your skin cream sometimes you wear lead at all 
but not today. Did you do all these drawings, Doctor? That is the Duomo's. All that detail just from memory, sir? Is what I have instead of a view. Lend yeah. us your view on this questionnaire, sir. It won't do. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. How does he you know, know about why him? he's called Buffalo Bill? It started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide. This one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins? It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies. I didn't. No, oh, you ate yours. You send that through now. She's so good. I mean, I could never be an FBI agent. She's just done nothing phasing her. So ambitious, aren't you? You look like a rube, length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash. Oh, here we go. Your father dears, your coal miner, does he stink of the land? You could only dream of getting out to the end. Oh, he's so creepy. But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? Maybe you're afraid to. I wouldn't want to play mind games with this guy. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver and a nice Chianti. Uh. You fly back to school now, little starling. Fly, fly, fly. Ew, 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 ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. Darling, come back! Hey, James, darling! I would not have had that happen. Then do this test for me. No, but I will make you happy. She's right near the glass. For what you love. Advancement, of course. Look deep within yourself. Moffat, an old patient of mine. M-O-F-E-T. Go now! Jesus. All right, so she was a little shaken by that. Hi, Bill. Daddy! Flashback. Daddy. Oh, that'll get out the aggression, I guess. You're dead, Ooh, girl. Did you check the floor? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. Doctor Hannibal Lecter. Oh, god. Miggs is dead. Dead. Orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Lecter did it to amuse himself. That guy's Mentioned really the name at the end. Uh, smart. Moffat. Well, Lecter altered or destroyed most of his patient's history. I thought the yourself, I figured he's from Baltimore. There's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore. Sir. It's the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. Nobody's been in here since 1980. Nobody's been in there for 10 years. Oh my God. Please don't be bodies. Oh my god. What does he want her to find in here? What is it, a hearse? I can't believe she's in there all by herself. Oh god, what is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Hester Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, doctor? Miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Why are the lights turned off? Your bleeding has stopped. How did you... Can he smell her blood? Why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? Benjamin Raspell, a former patient of mine. I did not kill him, I assure you, Mary. You're right. Him away. His therapy was going nowhere. Stress. Makeup. Raspo was a transvestite? No, no, I just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's first effort. How did you feel when you saw him, Clary? Friggin' Scared sick. Scared at first and exhilarated. Jack Crawford is helping your career. Do you think he visualizes scenarios that you? It's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. Not anymore. Yeah. Everything he does is so creepy. I've been in this room for eight years now, Clary. And I know they will never ever let me out. I want a window where I can see a tree. I want to be in a federal institution. What did you mean by fledgling killer? Yeah, explain. I'm offering you a psychological profile in Buffalo Bill. I don't think you're gonna get a window, bud. You know who he is, don't you? All good things to those who wait. Just tell her. Our little Billy must already be searching for that ex special lady. I 
know this girl from something, a TV show I've seen recently. Oh my god, is he gonna murder this girl? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Keep walking, keep walking. No, girl, keep walking. Can I help you with that? No. Thank you. That's all right. You look kind of handicapped. Is that him? Yeah, uh, getting a truck and, and I want to push it all the way up. There. He's got her. Size 14. <laughs> Good. Looking at her sides because he wants her skin. Good. Is that right? Did he kill her? Is she dead? Oh my God. Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type uh, situation. Damn. Keeps him alive for three days. We don't know why. I don't want to see any photos. Don't, don't, don't show any photos. All the mutilation you see there is post-mortem. Okay, three days. Shoots yeah. them, skins them, and dumps them. The water leaves us no trace evidence of any kind. Oh God, oh God. Uh, gross. Her body was the only one he took the trouble to weight down. After her, he got lazy. This new one today washed up Elk River, West Virginia. And he's skinning them. Ugh. He's got his own house somewhere, not an apartment. What he does with them takes privacy. Yeah, you'd s s smell it or something. He's got a real taste for it now, and he's getting better at his work. Not bad, Starling. You haven't mentioned anything about my report or Dr. Lecter's offer. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? To get his help on Buffalo Bill? I just wish I was in on it, that's all. Lecter would have known it instantly. I guess this way he thinks it's his idea. We appreciate being invited to your jurisdiction. This type of sex crime has certain aspects I just as soon discuss in private. What, she can't hear it? How's, how's she supposed to work on it? That's effed up. Oh, they're all like glaring at her. You woman, how dare you? If that was me, I'd probably make an uncomfortable joke. Okay, so she's thinking about her own dad's funeral. Okay. Excuse me. Please, go on now, let us take care of her. I don't want to see the body. Let's take a look at her. Oh God, no, why? We don't need to look at her. What, what, uh, she's all skin. Star-shaped contact entrance wound. I mean, I guess they do need to look at the body, but ugh. Lord almighty. Glitter nail polish. It looks like town to me. Ugh, she's all f Two of her fingernails are broken off. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. Ugh. Go, oh, we're going in. Ew. Ugh. Ew. That's a boat cocoon. Yeah. Somebody shoved it in there. Victim skin removed at this time in two large diamond shapes. When I, I told that sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman, that really burned you, didn't it? Yeah, man. Cops look at you to see how to act. Mm -hmm. Matters. Point taken. Well, at least he talked to her about it. That's nice. And he listened. Okay. Agent Starling? It's practically mush. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Cool. I used to say that. Cool. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? Are you hitting on me, doctor? Yes. <laughs> Meet Mr. Acherontius Styx. The Death's Head Moth. Death's Only lived in Asia. Imported egg. Uh, somebody grew this guy. Somebody loved him. Weird. Look at all these bugs. So this is Buffalo Bill's house, I guess. What won't you answer me? Order of Senator Ruth Martin is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer. So that's not the girl they found. Okay. Catherine is very gentle and kind. I know you can feel love and compassion show the whole world that you're big enough to treat Catherine better than the world has treated you boy that's smart release her unharmed she keeps repeating the name she sees Catherine as a person mm -hmm. it's harder to tear her up Please. coming into my hospital to conduct an interview and refusing to share information with me let me do my job you understand if your profile helps us in time to save Catherine Martin, the senator promises you a transfer with a view of the woods nearby one week of the year Plum Island you may swim in the ocean for up to one hour, and there you have it. It's a good deal, man. I would take that if I was you. Buffalo Bill case file. But there's no staples in there. Sounds charming. 
Very nice beach. Turns nest there. If I help you, Clarice, it will be turns with us too. If I tell you things you tell me about yourself. Quid pro quo. Just lie, just lie. Yes, and now, Clarice. It's fine, just lie. Poor little Catherine is waiting. Go, Doctor. What is your worst memory of childhood? Just make something up. You don't, you don't have to tell him the truth. Death of my father. Surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. When he left me, I had nothing. I was 10 years old. I think mm -hmm. it would be quite something to know you in private life. Quid pro quo, Doc. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Does he know? Is it a butterfly? How does he know that? A moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Oh. The significance of the moth is changed. Transsexuals are very passive. You're so close to the way you're gonna catch him. Tell me why. He knows who he you is. What happened next? He's gonna get inside her head. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband. They had a ranch. How long did you live there? I ran away. Did he sodomize you? Uh, quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual. There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment at one or all of them. Mm. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal. He hates his own identity. He thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times terrifying. It rubs Yikes. lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. Lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose a dog. again. <laughs> okay, okay. Now it places the lotion in the basket. It's calling her it. It's getting sad. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. Don't make him angry, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that guy's nuts. I called Senator. She never heard of any deal with you. Why is he doing this? Shut the door. There never was a deal, but there is now. I designed it. I hope he's gonna pick up that pen. Answer me, Hannibal. Oh, by God, you'll never leave this cell. Who is Buffalo Bill? He's not gonna tell you, His man. His first name is Lewis. Oh. After the rest of the cell right. himself. And I have a few conditions of my own. Did you have a trainee make some sort of phony offer to Lecter? Yeah, I rolled the dice I had Oh, to. it was true. Well, she's okay. mad as hell. She's asking him to take over in Memphis. Oh, they're off it. Now, we're going to treat you as good as you treat us. If we sign right here, we'll have us a legal transfer. Is this pen gone? I think he has the pen. How'd he get it? I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time. Let me help you now, and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word. Lewis friend. I met him just once. He was referred to me is he really by my patient, him? Benjamin Raspell. They were lovers. Lewis had murdered a transient, done things with the skin. Tell me, Senator, did you nurse Catherine yourself? Here we go. It's getting creepy. I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Can't say that to her, man. Amputate a man's leg and he can still feel it tickling when your little girl is on the slab. Where will it tickle you? This thing back to Baltimore. Five for ten, strongly built. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. What, you creepy bastard. Love your suit. <laughs> you to assist in the investigation. Well, it's only through my own unique insight into Lecter's mind that this breakthrough was possible. Oh, please. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. Log in, check your weapon. She thinks it's an it's anagram. what they're saying? Some kind of vampire? They don't have a name for what it is. What's he gonna say to her? This is different. Before I was like super scared, but now I can't wait to see their interaction. Good evening, Clarice. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. <laughs> Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick tock. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis friend. Lewis friend. Yeah, yeah. Iron what's it mean? Sulfide, also known as, as fool's gold. Please continue now. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask, what does he do? This man you seek. He kills women. No, he covets. We begin by coveting what we see every day. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? Please tell me how. No. 
Why did you leave that ranch? I will listen now. And one morning, I just ran away. You started at what time? Early, still dark. I heard a strange noise. What was it? God, that close up. Screaming like a child's voice. And what did you see, Clarice? Lambs. They were screaming. And you ran away? No. I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. Uh. But you could, and you did, didn't you? I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. I thought if I could save just one, but he was so heavy. I didn't get more than a few miles. The rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage. I never saw the ranch again. What became of your lamb? I killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you, and hear the screaming of the lamb? Yes. Do you think if you save poor Catherine, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lamb? I don't know. Thank you. That was an intense, intense story. I have goosebumps all over. Ugh. Dr. Chilton, I presume. He was just gonna tell Your her. Turn, doctor. Out. Say something. Well, let tell me her know the when name. Those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Careful, careful, careful. Bye, Thought he might grab her arm and bite it. Eat a hunk of flesh. Is that like his little bathroom? Demanded a second dinner. Lamb chops. Extra rare. From the pen? They're not gonna open the door. Isn't there like a little slit they can slide it under? Same drill as before, please. Mm hmm Oh, he's gonna pick the lock. I'm scared. He's gonna do something. They're just hanging around in there. Are you joking? He's not even looking. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bit him on the face. Oh my god. But he's just free now? He's not gonna escape? Is he trying to escape or did he just want to kill them? Oh my god. Ready when you are, Sergeant Pembry. <gasps> Shots fired on fire, repeat. Holy sh the hell? Look! It stopped. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance double quick. We're going up. It's not gonna be good. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! Command post. Lecter's gone, Sarge. Repeat, Lecter's missing hand arm. He's got a gun. Might be making a rope. Check all windows. He's alive. Pember, can you hear me? Pember got off one round. There's a chance Lecter was hit. You did a good job. Oh, you, you look real good there. Where would he go? Well, he's very smart. I'm sure he has a plan. Looking good, Pembry. You're gonna make it. I'm on the elevator bringing Pembry down. We think he's on two. <gasps> Is he right above them? Oh. Put your hands on your head. Shoot him. No movement. We're opening the hatch. Watch his hands. Yeah, watch his hands. Watch his mouth. Watch everything. Uh. Pressure is 130 over 90. 90? Yeah, that's right, 90. Uh, no, 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 no. And, uh, and the uh, patient is on 10 liters of oxygen. They found the ambulance in a parking garage at Memphis Airport. He won't come after me. Oh, really? He won't. He would consider that rude. He's right here in these pages, only I can't. Dr. Lecter said a lot of things. Well, that was a brilliant plan. Holy. 
that the skin? Ugh. Is this Lecter's handwriting? Doesn't this random scattering of sight seem desperately random? Bad liar. Ty Hannibal Lecter. What does he mean? Like there's some pattern here. Because of the one girl. First girl taken, third body found. She didn't drift. He weighted her down. He covets. Hot damn, Clarice. You know her. So Hannibal Lecter is just out there somewhere. Buffalo Bills still got the girl. Not good. Not good. I don't know nothing new to tell you. Her bedroom's how she left it. Door to the left. Is she gonna find a clue in there? What do we have here? Oh, everything's so creepy, but there's nothing even happening. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. He's a tailor or a dressmaker. He has to keep them alive so he can starve them a while, so that he can loosen their skin. And we know who he is and where he is. The subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. They stopped a carton two years ago. Live caterpillars from oh. Suriname. We want him for murder, not kidnapping. You see what you can dredge up in Belvedere. We wouldn't have found him without you. Thank you, oh, That's nice. Oh, this girl, she's Thanks still alive. Scrabs asshole. Time for a little treat. Oh. What's she doing? Come on, girl. She's gonna trap the dog. <gasps> it is a sweet dog. Skin with the hair on it. Jamie Gum. How about John Grant? No. Sewing was her life. Me and Pam Malavese used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Ugh. So beautiful. Down here, you sack of <laughs> Give me a telephone and Laura down here now! She's in a lot of pain, mister. She needs a vet. She broke her leg on the way down. Don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me You don't know what pain is! Can't they hear any of that? Oh, he's just gonna shoot her. It's quite a friggin' doorbell. Sorry to bother you. I'm looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. They're at the wrong house. Oh my god, she's there all by herself. Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Yeah. Well, Mrs. Lippman had a son, though. Maybe he could help you. I got, I got his card in here someplace. Don't. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Does she know? Did Does she have any, take over this like, place after hunch? Mrs. Lippman died? Is that right? Did she leave any records, any tax forms? Look, look behind Mrs. you. Look on the wall. The police around here don't seem to have the first clue. Bugs, bugs. Go, 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 get out of there, get out of there. I mean, have you got like a description? No. Hey, get your gun, get your gun. Right. Oh my god. Freeze! He's gonna grab his Trans gun, he's gonna grab his gun. Freeze! Girl, call somebody. Oh my god, she's all by herself. Don't go down there. Go back to your car and call somebody. No cell phones. Oh my god. Shh. No one knows she's there. This is not a good idea. I don't like this at all. No, no, no. He's just gonna grab her and stick her in that hole. You're not. No one knows she's there. Maybe someone does. Did she tell someone? She should have told somebody. I've got to leave this room. I'll be right back. Don't you leave me here. Don't go, please. Quiet. Is he still in the house? Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, he has the night vision. Oh my god. He's right in front of her. He's gonna kill her. Maybe Hannah Lecter will save her. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <sighs> I have chills everywhere, oh my god. Uh. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Reload, reload, reload. Shoot him in the head. gonna keep the dog. Congratulations. We're just never gonna see Hannah Blechter again. I thought he was gonna be there for sure or something. That was a super intense scene, man. Whoo. I wanted to say congratulations. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Your father would have been proud today. Oh, that's phone. nice. Wow, Clarice. Oh. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Oh, I have chills. I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you and well, That's good. You take care now to extend me the same courtesy. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Ugh. I'm having an old friend for dinner. F you, man. Dr. Lecter. At least he said he's gonna leave Clarice alone, though. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, this guy. He's gonna eat him. <laughs> wow, the end. Woo. Okay, guys, well, that was The Silence of the Lambs, and that was a good one. That was a really good one. I like this one in the way, in the same way that I liked Seven. You know, it's not my, a normal movie that I would really like. It definitely made me think. The acting was really good. The story was very engaging. Anytime Anthony Hopkins was on the screen, I was absolutely fascinated. Obviously gross, kind of gory, you know, some blood and some, ugh, the skin and uh, yuck, all of that. That was very gross, but I liked it. I think. I can see why it's such a big deal. Yeah, I did like it. I did like it. It was good. Very, very good. I really was surprised how into it I was. I couldn't like take my eyes off it. I was just like glued to it the whole time, even though I was like, oh, this is so gross. Yeah, it was really good, man. Still thinking about it though. It really, it creeped me out. It definitely was creepy and disturbing, but really good, really good. Really smart, characters really, really interesting. I think that's what I like the best about it. I'm even still sitting here thinking, I mean, Hannibal Lecter, I kind of, I didn't like him, but I was fascinated by him. And you know, he, he didn't want to hurt Clarice either. He was kind of on her side and he wanted to help her. I don't know, he's such a fascinating character. Really super fascinating. I am going to give the MVP to Hannibal Lecter, even though he's the one of the bad guys in this. Uh, I thought he was absolutely fascinating. I just couldn't take my eyes off him. Every little thing he was doing, I was like, is this a clue? Is this, is he, is it a riddle? You know, I was absolutely enthralled by every single moment he was on the screen. I wish he had more screen time, but maybe that's also what made him interesting. He really made it count. Every scene he was in was absolutely fascinating. So Hannah Blacker, even though you're a terrible guy, you're going to get my MVP of this movie because you were a great character. A great character. I'm gonna give the Loki MVP to Clarice Starling, and maybe I should give her MVP because she's the hero of this story, but I just couldn't help but be fascinated by Hannibal Lecter. So I'm gonna give MVP to Clarice. She did a great job too. Jodie Foster did a great job. Really good acting. And the two of them together, Clarice and Hannibal Lecter together, was so interesting to watch. All their interactions were so, ugh so complex. I just really, really liked every scene that they were in together. So I'll give the Loki MVP to Clarice. And the worst award, I will give it to Buffalo Bill. That guy was awful. With the freaking, the green night vision goggles, that scene in the basement, I held my breath for the entire thing. I feel like I, I, I was just like, like what is gonna happen? Oh, I still feel like, exhausted from that whole scene so he was a terrifying villain buffalo bill 
you are definitely the worst. But yeah, overall, really good movie. I feel like I want to, I almost want to say that I would see it again because there's so much there. Maybe I would see this one again sometime. Not, not right away, but it's possible I would watch this one again just to kind of see what else is there. I feel like there's a lot of layers to this movie, even the way it was shot and the music. I wasn't really able to pay attention to those kind of things because I was so enthralled in the characters. But I mean, I know that those things must have been really great as well. I would kind of like to go back through it and pay a little more attention to that kind of stuff. I bet it's all awesome too. So yeah, okay, maybe someday I'll watch this one again. Cause I did, I did like it, even though it's gross. But at least now I know the parts that are gross that are coming so I could cover my eyes for that and I won't be shocked. Yeah, wow, this one was really surprising, really different. I'm really glad I watched this one. So thank you guys so much for watching along with me today. I really appreciate it. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time too. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.